How's it going, guys? My name is Mitch Robs, and welcome to another uh, Candy Valley Endurance AFK video. Um, today, we're going to be going over uh, Sinkhole North. So, if you guys don't know what Sinkhole Amp is, uh, if you're at your uh, Storm Shield and you go straight north, there's this uh, amplifier in the Sinkhole down here. Um, and we're going to be doing the north side of that. So, a uh, few things we're going to uh, say about this is uh, this is not my build design, this is Chetix. Uh, but it's with a lot of modification, but uh, if you want like a really like in-depth build tutorial on how to do that Go check out his channel. It's gonna be in the description. I'm gonna tell you how this tunnel functions the modifications I've made um, But go go check out his channel for the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this uh, Because it's great and I figure if I can't build anything better uh, might as well use his uh, but this isn't me trying to like plagiarize his work. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what uh, type of tunnel. So go check the description for his. All right. So uh, there's a, there's a few spawns we're gonna go over. So this is a spawn up here. Um, annoying spawn. It's on the hill to the north of the amplifier. They spawn in this river down here. Um, all around here. I think that's there's a spawn up there. If I can get up there. So there's, there's three spawns. This is a rare spawn up here. You're not going to get it very often. But there is a spawn, I believe, up here. Where they'll drop down this way and then walk this way. So that's why we have this. Okay. So uh, let's go over the pathing real quick. So how does he have them tunnel? So uh, Chedic's tunneling is off to the left here. It goes up this ramp. Uh, we go up this ramp, up this ramp, up this ramp. He doesn't kill anything. He doesn't recycle up to here. He gets them to right here. Uh, this is a Baron. Uh, this is has no wall launcher here. Uh, it goes across here, goes across here. This is a floor launcher. It shoots him off a of 45 going this way. Uh, he takes them left. There's a stagger recycler here. Three stagger recyclers with wooden floor spikes. Uh, and then tar pits. Uh, so this stagger recycles them down. Their preferred path isn't going to be to walk all the way around there. It's going to be to a secondary recycler. So there's a wall launcher here. Uh, we go up the tunnel. Uh, there's a wall launcher here uh, with a sound wall and block off all throughout that. Uh, we take a right. The, uh, there's a recycler here with a wall launcher. There's some floor launchers shooting them up into the lobber shield. We take a right and there's floor launchers on this tile, this tile, and then a wall launcher shooting them back to spawn. So that's his general tunneling, um, as well as some of the husks, uh, instead of wanting to walk all the way around there, will come up here, and they'll get recycled by this wall launcher, this wall launcher, and this wall launcher, back to their spawn, and they'll want to come all the way up here and walk this path for some reason. But um, that's his general tunneling. Now we're going to talk about the caveats I did, and uh, we're going to go over how to, in general, how to build it, but I'm not going to like uh, go over step by step because you guys can just go check out his video. So one of the things we uh, did to add a little bit more recycling and to add a little bit of stun effect is uh, we walk up here. We're going to see up this ramp uh, on the north side of by their spawn. Uh, we're going to have a wall launcher that launches them all the way back over here uh, to the west uh, at the top of this tile next to the ramp. We're going to have a ceiling drop trap, not for the killing ability, but to drop them all the way down here. So uh, the rolls on that ceiling drop trap, I want as much durability as possible. So I have two durabilities, crit rating, crit damage, and reload speed. So that's going to keep the husks, as they walk up here, they're going to trigger this trap. It's going to drop down. It's going to knock all the husks back down here. So that's one of the recyclers. Uh, this will stop a lot of... And I mean a lot of husks from walking up this tunnel and uh, actually making it to the recycler. So as we come up here, we have another uh, ceiling drop trap recycler that drops it down this ramp. Uh, so we connect that with a wall launcher that shoots them all the way across over into this little cavern. So once they hit this cavern, they're going to walk here. They're going to come back down here and they're going to go on the recycler. Another change I made is uh, we have wall launchers here and here. Uh, along his so what this is going to do is some husks no matter how good i got this block off um how much uh layers i put in between it they always found a way to hit on this for some reason so uh whether it's an assassin husk or uh, just one random husk out of anything husks are weird sometimes uh they'll come and beat on this every once in a while so i just have these two wall launchers they have healing uh, attached structures on them uh, they just boop them all the way back here, reset their pathing, and they'll be on their way. Another thing is uh, lobbers, for some reason, we'll throw here sometimes. So we put 
one, two, three anti-air traps here. Um, so if any lobber decides, hey, I want to throw here, it's just going to get sucked up by these anti-air traps, and they're going to go on their way. So uh, if you guys want the rolls of my anti-air traps, they're going to be right here. There's going to be a durability, reload speed, durability, reload speed, heals attached building health, and uh, increased building health. That's also going to serve as a secondary uh, purpose, is if a husk comes and tries to beat on these little floors right here, as they go down, they're going to... Uh, like, uh, this is going to be repaired, and there's going to be more building health on them. But the building health appears to not be working, because it has the same uh, health as the other floors. That's a bug epic. But um, as we come across here, uh, these two wall launchers are what I added. As well as we come over here, there's going to be a wall launcher here uh, along the tunnel. This is a floating tunnel, guys, if you guys didn't know that. There's a floating tunnel here in the pathway. This wall launcher is going to shoot them back all the way to spawn. If they get stuck on this little island, flingers and lobbers could throw from here. That's why I have these two wall launchers. That'll knock them straight back over here, and they'll take them through the long recycling. As well as there's a floor launcher here that's going to hit them off the 45 and take them back that way. As we come across here, uh, there's a stagger recycler with these walls here. Uh, that's fine and all. Uh, once they get knocked down here, as we go up... Um, there's going to be this wall launcher here. We go up, we go up, we go up. There's going to be a ceiling drop trap here. So this, what this ceiling drop trap is going to do is as they come up here, it's going to knock them back all the way down to here, and they're going to have to reset, and they're going to get hit by this wall launcher again. Uh, that's going to add a little bit more recycling to it. Sorry. Uh, so as we come across here, there's not going to be a floor tile here. Because uh, if you have a three-tiered uh, metal floor tile here, Huss will just sit here and bang on it. Bang on it, bang on it, bang on it. And... Uh, that will allow the husks to, uh, propane husks to blow it up. Because they're not going to get hit by this sound wall. So they're going to sit here, they're going to blow that tunnel up. Uh, as well as I have a wall added right here under this ceiling drop trap. Because uh, husks will stand right here and hit this floor with the wooden floor spikes on it. They're just weirdos, man. So they'll sit right there and they'll hit the wooden floor spikes. Uh, and we'll run into issues with that. So they're going to come across here, come across here. Uh, so that prevents it, by the way. So they're going to come across here, and then there's just going to be a cycling. As well as uh, lobbers and flingers, they want to come up this ramp sometimes because there's a clean, clear line of sight right here to throw. So what we did was put a wall with a wooden floor spike on or a wooden wall spike on it. That's going to allow them to just beat on that, and it's going to provide an additional layer to entice them to walk down our own trap tunnel. So as we look at that, so we were talking about this... Uh, random spawn up here as well so there's also a random spawn up here uh so they'll drop down right here Oop. and then they'll try to walk towards the amplifier we just have a little uh kill tunnel right here uh i hit it with the wrong thing whoops uh we're gonna put a uh, dynamo on one wall a ceiling electric field on the top and then dynamo on the other wall this is gonna prevent the husks from uh throwing and it's going to just nuke them down. Because it's only a rare spawn. And uh, only one or two husks are ever like available at one time there. So they're, they're just going to get stuck in this tar pit. And just get nuked down. So let me replace that real quick. Alright. So we're going we're gonna to go over kind of the block off ideas. Uh, you guys can go check his out for a tutorial. Uh, but basically we're going to be blocking off that river down there. I'm going to wait for this to upgrade real quick though. Because I will 100% forget about this. Alright. So, uh, the block off, uh, that he did, uh, is right over here. So, uh, the block off is going to be, uh, a wall, two ramps. So, wall, wall, ramp, ramp. There's going to be two walls behind it. There's going to be an edited floor piece behind the left one, uh, that's facing the north. So, the two tiles on the north are edited. There's going to be a wall, and then there's going to be a cone edited towards the northwest. Uh, to the right, uh, side, there's going to be a wall. Behind that is going to be a cone facing towards the northwest uh, with walls surrounding it. Right, so we're here, walls surrounding it. There's going to be an edited floor piece with uh, the tiles to the north. Uh, so if we go under here, the, the tiles on the north side are going to be ed edited. Uh, so it's a, a half floor. If we go north or east of that, there's going to be a, an edited cone piece to the north. So the two of them are up. And then there's going to be an edited floor to the north up uh, behind that. So if we go back to the uh, south, there's a natural ramp here. Uh, we're going to have that cone surrounded in walls. We're going to go to the southwest, and there's going to be a building block here. This is going to be a uh, 45, uh, or a cone, edited towards the northwest, and a uh, 
edited floor to the west, the two tiles to the west, they're going to be edited for it. There's going to be a wall, a floor. This floor is going to have um, increased building health on it. So a trap with increased building health, this trap doesn't matter as long as it has increased building health. So let's see. Do, 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 do. These have in plus 17% increased building health. This is going to make sure that the husks who don't want to go through that 8,337 HP, as well as this... Uh, is going to be a cone edited uh, to into a ramp, and it's going to have increased building health on the back of it. So we're going to go uh, to the east. There's going to be a wall. There's going to be a full sandwich with the the floor edited towards uh, the west and the cone facing the northwest. So that's going to be surrounded to walls. To the north of that, we have an edited floor piece with the west tiles taken out. So we're going to go to the east, and there's uh, two sandwiches with the wall not on this natural terrain because we don't need it. This is going to be a uh, full sandwich, and this is going to be a full sandwich as well. With uh, this one with the cone facing the northwest, and this one's going to be just a uh, a ramp. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna scoot on over. Uh, we're gonna go to the south. There's going to be a ramp with a uh, floor freeze trap on here, and then underneath it, there's going to be an edited floor tile to the uh, east. There's going to be surrounded in walls, and then to the east of that, we're going to have a ramp. We're going to have no edited floor piece, and we're going to have a wall. Uh, there's going to be a repeated uh, full sandwich to the south of that. And then above that, on this natural ramp, if you see, this is our natural ramp as our guide now. We're going to have a wall, wall, floor, floor, but these on these floors, we're going to have... Um, so we should honestly do this. Uh, there's going to be uh, floor freeze traps with increased building health. There's going to be two uh, cones edited towards each other. Uh, so it's one layer. So they have to break it through either or. And there's going to be walls uh, surrounding it on the south and the west side. All right. So that should be uh, the block off on the right side. The other block off is uh, going to be uh, along this uh, tunnel over here. If I can get down there, lol. So uh, starting at this uh, top of this ramp to our left, we're going to place tiles, right? Um, we're going to have this little uh, type of block off. So if we go over here, there's going to be a wall, edited floor piece, and then there's going to be a ramp. And on the backs of the ramps and on the backs of the walls, we're going to have increased building health, um, which we call it, increased building health uh, trap. And then we're going to have the sound wall on this. What that's going to allow us to do is compact as much uh, HP and layers in between the husks and uh, their target that they're not going to want to go there. So that ends up uh, being full sandwiches uh, all the way until it gets to um, nope. right here at this ridge. Alright. So it's going to go all the way from over there and it's going to be completely compacted with uh, increased building health on the backs of the walls and on the floors. Or on the cones. And then there's going to be the edited floor pieces in there. So as we go to right here, uh, you'll see that as we come down the stagger cycle, there's going to be uh, ceiling gases, ceiling gases, ceiling gases, and it's going to recycle them back like this. Uh, the main component of this amp that is really wonky, and the reason why I wanted to keep his build over designing something of mine, um, and just make modifications to his build, is this is screwy as hell. This smasher ridge does not work as intended. So the way Chetik intended it uh, is the... Smashers would come here. They'd see these walls up here, uh, right here. And the only way to get to that is for them to walk all the way around here. They're going to walk around here, walk around here, walk around here. They're going to walk up here. And then they're going to beat on this wall. And then they're going to get stagger recycled off, right? None of the none of the Smashers, none of the mini bosses actually do that. They literally, the mini bosses and Smashers just camp right here. They go, ooh, what do I do? And they just sit there for the round. I'll show some gameplay of it later, but this master or the mini bosses just sit here. They don't they don't beat on any wall spikes. They don't beat on any. They don't get recycled. They sit here, and they just get bugged out. So we're gonna take full advantage of that because we don't have to kill the mini bosses then. Uh, and since this isn't a kill tunnel, we'd have to deal with the mini bo uh, bosses somehow. So this is fully AFKable because of this weird amp design. So we're gonna go over the amp design real quick. So if we're gonna come to, over to this northeast side, there's going to be a um, I don't even know what to call this. Uh, a one-third wall here. Uh, there's going to be a one-third wall here. There's going to be a one-third wall to the west. Uh, and then there's going to be an uh, a, like a quarter arch. So if you go the one-third wall, then two over, there's going to be this little piece here. Uh, it's a supporting structure. Um, and then there's uh, the amp is surrounded in archways with a wall uh, 
on the north side. So what that's going to do is make the, the husks think they have to come all the way up here, all the uh, smasher husks. They're going to think they have to come up here to reach the walls of the amplifier. But um, we're going to start uh, this little uh, smasher bridge over here on this tile. So if we're at this ramp, our reference point is one over from it. We're going to go one floor, two floor, three floor. There's going to be a tar pit, wall launcher. This is a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. There's going to be a, a wall with a wall spike. There's going to be a floor, tar pit, uh, wall spike, wall launcher. Floor with tar pit, wall spike, wall launcher. Floor, wall spike, uh, wall. Wall launcher, tar pit, uh, wall spike. Uh, floor, uh, whatever this is called, uh, a slant. There's going to be a wall uh, to the right of this uh, wall spike and wall. Uh, this is important because the smashers are going to try to get to that. There's going to be a low wall uh, surrounding the amp on top of the archway. There's going to be a wall spike uh, wall. There's going to be a floor wall spike wall. There's going to be a, um, a cone edited towards the east. There's going to be a wall wall spike wall. There's going to be a floor. There's going to be a cone on top of it and then a wall spike wall. Uh, and then the rest of the amp is surrounded by low walls, except for that one side to the north. Uh, this thing bugs the hell out of the husks, and we're going to take full advantage of that. Um, Alright, so we've covered the block off. Uh, on this right side, we've covered the block off on the left side. So now let's take a look at the top. So if we're going to take a look at the top, um, the husks spawn up here, right? Uh, they're gonna want to like find the shortest route to their path So we block off this right and left side and they're gonna walk all the way down this tunnel down here down here down here And they're gonna walk into the recycler. So to make that happen We're gonna come all the way up here We're gonna have a three by four of sandwiches Except the the top left sandwich is missing because we don't need that one. So we're gonna have a three by four of sandwiches uh, and that's gonna allow us to uh, to the husk to not come off to this right side. So we're also going to cover uh, this area up, uh, starting at our, uh, let's see, let's get a better reference point. Starting at this corner piece, we're gonna take it one tile out. So this is our one tile. It's gonna go second tile above. We're gonna place uh, walls along this entire thing. We're gonna take uh, all our, uh, our ceilings over one tile, two tiles, so it's going to be three tiles this way. Uh, we're going to map it out. It's going to be a two by three right here. Then we're going to go over one tile, so there'd be a tile right here. So there'd be a tile missing right here, but there's that tile. We're going to take this tile over. It's going to attach all the way to ramps over here. Um, then we're going to take two tiles over this way, and we're going to put gas traps on them in case anything beats here. We, we don't need these gas traps. Uh, when they were, uh, when I didn't have sufficient block off behind this, we did need these gas traps. But we're gonna erase these real quick. We're gonna go all the way left over here, uh, and then there's gonna be another ceiling piece with a gas trap here, just in case the husk speed over here. I've had it happen before, and uh, I don't want you guys to fail because some husk was beaten over here. So I've had an assassin husk come over here. So we're just gonna put a ceiling gas trap there. All right. So this uh, block off is a um, pretty interesting one. It's going to be one, two, three, four, four full sandwiches, except for the middle wall, uh, back this way, uh, starting at, let's see, starting at this ridge. So it's going to be four full sandwiches, but off to this left, there's going to be a two by two of sandwiches, uh, with no walls in between here. And it's just going to be connected, uh, with no walls in between. Uh, two over so it's gonna be a two by two a block off so there's an overview of that so that's gonna be four long four long with uh the cones edited towards the northeast on this left side uh and then it's just gonna be ramps uh on this side okay so as well as uh this you might be thinking this is for this amp but this is for the uh a uh, east the sinkhole east this is to prevent lobbers okay so there's one caveat of this as well as let's see let's see if we can find others so also in this little burrow right here uh husks will walk all the way around down to here down here down here so we have three layers to prevent them from doing that so let's talk about the lava shield now so we're going to connect to the top of the tunnel that we just had What's this for we don't need that maybe we do who knows 
So uh, we're going to make our lobber shield. So we're going to go use this as our reference point. We're going to go one tile over. We're going to start our ramp. And we're going to make a 4 by 2 grid. So this is going to be one tile, two tile, three tile, four tiles. Sorry. So uh, and it's going to be two tiles up. So attached to that, we're going to have floor tiles, right? Uh, in a one, two, three, four, so a one by four right here, and we're gonna edit uh, the farthest two so that husks that drop off here aren't going to uh, land on our floor tiles. Then we're gonna have one, two, three, four tiles over, uh, offset by uh, one tile, uh, and we're gonna edit those in a similar way so that husks that drop off there aren't gonna land here. So that's gonna be one. We're gonna edit this uh, the north tiles out. We're going to edit the north tiles out, and we're going to edit the north tiles out. This is so the husks that are up here uh, don't break through that wall and then land on here and have a free ride to the amplifier. Next to that, we're going to have ramp, ramp, attached to the, the last floor tile, um, and then attached to a floor, or a wall. This, what this is going to allow us to do is hit them off with these floor launchers. But um, that should be the general, like, uh, lobber shield and modifications I've made to his. Like, really go check out his video if uh, you need help building it. Um, but take into account the modifications I've made, and it'll work a little bit better. Um, even if it's a marginal amount, uh, I think it's going to make it more AFKable for y'all that don't have as enough uh, trap durability as he does, or as I do. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, the next video up is going to be... Uh, this uh, sinkhole amplifier to the east. And I have a really unique build. It's not like unique, but it's like, uh, I haven't really seen anybody do it before. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a like and a comment and subscrip or a subscription if you guys like the video. Um, go check out Chetik's video on it. I'm going to link it in the description. I can't say that enough. Uh, this is mainly his tunneling and his block off, but uh, just my modifications on it. And I don't want to like uh, ruffle any feathers. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Toodles.